Hey, hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to be narrating a Wikipedia article. All right, let's pull one up on the internet. Let's see what's up. All right, I'm on the Wikipedia website. Sorry for the background noise. I have some housemates oh in here. So today's featured article is Mark Oliphant. He was an Australian physicist <laughs> who made the first experimental demonstration of nuclear fusion. That's pretty interesting. Let's talk about philosophy. What's the good philosophy? Let's talk about. Let's talk about murder. All right. Let's talk about murder. Murder is a pretty fucked up thing to talk about, but it's interesting really philosophically. Just, as as the philosophically, spread, murder is the unlawful. So, the, Wiki, the Wikipedia definition is the unlawful killing of another human without justification or valid excuse, especially the unlawful killing of another human being with malice aforethought. This is interesting. This is really interesting. Why do people kill people? That's like fucked up. Like you're taking the right, you're taking away the right of another person's right to live. You're taking away another person's right to live, and that's like so fucked up. Murder, murder is fucked up. But let's see what this Wikipedia article has to say about murder. So, most societies consider murder to be an extremely serious crime. I expect so. You're taking away another person's right to live, and that's a fucked up. That's really fucked up. You don't want to be taking away people's rights to live. Hold on one second. Let me plug in my phone here because I'm mad. I'm pretty heated right now. Heated that murder is a thing. It has to be, we have to write a Wikipedia article about murder. Let's see. So, in most countries, people convicted of murders generally face long term prison sentences, possibly a life sentences. And in a few, the death penalty may be imposed. So not only if you murder someone, you have the chance of getting murdered by your own government. That is pretty cool, but also not cool because... It's crazy how we allow the government to kill people. So, yeah, my roommate just... My housemate just put in that he... Crazy that the government allows murder. It's crazy that, like... It's crazy. It's crazy that we, like, kill other people. No way! He just ran the door out two times. So yeah, there's like a lot of background noise going on right now, but I'm not stopping recording. Did we get ding dong ditched? Dang yo, we got ding dong ditched. That could be like a reason to murder someone. Being ding dong ditched, like you get really mad because you got ding dong ditched and you're like, ah, oh, I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna kill you, I'm gonna choke you, I'm gonna slice your throat, I'm gonna make sure you were never alive, I'm gonna grab my knife, slice your throat, and make you bleed to death because you ding-dong ditched me. Dang yo. It's pretty fucked up. Ding-dong ditched is fucked up, but that's not the topic. That's a topic for another time, you know? Actually, no, you can kill someone to ding-dong ditch, like if they're old and like you ding-dong ditch them and they open the door and they're like, Nobody's here. I'm just being stalked and like they're old and have a heart condition. They're like, ah, and they die. That could be a murder. That could be cause for murder. <sighs> Let's see. So there are degrees of murder. So basically they, people, James, you're still talking. We people even think, in here. people think that the degrees of murder, it's like, so like, basically there's like a, like a hierarchy of like murder charges. James, James wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait. When we were outside, were you still talking? <laughs> First degree, second degree. Yeah. I'm recording. I'm recording. Oh, yeah. you're going to edit me out. No. Or you want my sexy voice? I'm using Movie Maker, so I can't edit you out. All right. Anyways. In a world where James sits in the kitchen anyway. and reads Wikipedia to himself. <laughs> Anyways. So, victims of murder, okay, this is fucked up. If you're a victim of murder, that's like... Your pussy. That's like pretty you're fucked mad. up. You're mad That's off. pretty sad, because like, you were living life one day, and then you just died, and you're not living it anymore. So like, that's pretty fucked up. Word. Mal so, Mal 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 so let's see the definition of a victim. 
A victim is a human being who is still alive before being murdered. Okay, so you can't be dead before you are murdered. That's a pretty interesting uh, theory. I wonder who came up with that one. Um, in other words, man. under the law, one cannot murder a corpse, a corporation, or a non-human am- animal, or any other non-human organism such as a plant or bacterium. Okay, so... So I can't murder that husband. What are you Mm-hmm. So, California's murder statute uh, was interpreted by the Supreme Court of California in 1994. That's interesting. I'll, uh, I'm not gonna, it's too, it seems like the Supreme Court, the penal code section is like, it's like a paragraph, but I don't have to agree in a paragraph, so you guys can look that up. But it's, it sounds interesting <laughs> from what I read. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, let's talk about insanity. Insanity when you murder someone, that's an interesting thing. Alright, so sometimes, if you're insane, you don't really, you're not really like, you're not really thinking straight. So like, yeah. they like, they think that like, they're like, oh, you're not fully responsible. So, yeah. Let me just, let me look at some Reddit articles about murder. So, on the front page of Reddit, I didn't pull up any articles yet, but it says, Yesterday, my local Jewish community center was completely covered with swastikas. I don't care who you vote for or where you lean, this is never okay. That could be, uh, that could be a motivation for murder both ways. Uh, if you're anti-Semite, you know, like, you murder someone, you're like, oh, you're Jewish, uh, I don't like you, and, like, that's, like, fucked up, but on the other side of the coin, if you're, like, not an anti-Semite, but, like, you, like, see this, and, like, you're you're, you're infuriated, you go find the person, you kill them, that's also another motivation, you know, maybe you're just, like, maybe you're just really offended by it, you know? Oh, B- Bulgarian journalist brutally murdered after investigating corruption. That's another motivation for murder. Political murder is another motivation for murder, you know. You're investigating, you're investigating corruption like, I don't know, let's just say the president's having sex with, like, little kids. Like, and, like, you try to uncover that. And the president's like, no, you can't uncover that. And they kill you. That's, like, a motivation for murder. It's a pretty big motivation for murder. You don't want the people finding out that you have sex with little kids. Pretty, pretty fucked up. Alright, All right. what unsolved mis- These are mostly Ask Reddit questions. Let's see. seven minutes into this documentary pretty interesting let's see what's up with murderers postpartum depression can be another cause of murder like, you're just like, you're just like, ah, oh, I'm sick of having this baby. He's crying all the time. He won't shut up. And you kill him. That's the cause of murder. Maybe if you're, maybe if you're a retarded dude. You're retarded and, like, you stab someone, but you don't know that you're killing them. You don't know, like, what death actually means. Are you actually recording something? Yeah. <laughs> you just, is this for, like, class? No. Okay, good, because you can't use retarded <laughs> in an academic setting. <laughs> if you're a retarded man, you can't kill anyone because... Hold on a second. Alright, we're back. We're back and we're rolling. Sorry about that interruption. So, I was at retarded people. So, if you're retarded... You can't really, like, you don't really, like, know the full actions of your crime, you know? Like, oh, I'm gonna murder someone, and, like, I did, and I don't know, I don't know what life is, so, like, I'm sorry, yeah. and, like, yeah, like, you can't do that. Um, let's see the murder race by country. Brazil is pretty fucked up, like, I'm, I have a graph, I'm reading a graph right now. I don't feel like showing you guys, but, you know, because that takes, like, effort and editing in, but... It's 21.8. <laughs> I 
I don't know what that means, but it seems to be a lot. You know, over 20 people die in Brazil every year. So yeah, by murder. So yeah, that's like not safe. Um, let's see what's up. All right, so I'm doing some research right now, basically, on things like murder. So let's see. Let's look up. Uh, let's look up a, a a part of murder, like a small section, of a subsect of murder, I should say, and that's manslaughter. So. There are types of manslaughter. There's voluntary, assisted suicide, involuntary, constructive, criminally negligent, vehicular or intoxication manslaughter. Right, so, let's see. What interests me of all these? So, constructive manslaughter. Now, it's like this is like a long ass paragraph, but it feels like, like I feel like what constructive manslaughter is is like. It's like when you voluntarily like manslaughter someone, but like, you know, like you go to court and like you but like you try to make it seem involuntary. Like, I don't know, like you made to you like like you were sick of your child, so you put them in the bath and like you shove their head under the water and and then like once they're dead, you go get some coffee. And then like you go back upstairs and you're like, Oh no, my baby's dead and like you go you go call the ambulance and pretend to cry and like they do a autopsy and they're like wait you put your hand on the baby you drowned this baby this is we know that it wasn't like involuntary it was voluntary so and then the judge like gives you some constructive criticism about your manslaughter so like so he's like yeah like if you wanted to kill your make kill your baby and make it seem like an accident, like you know, like involuntary, you know, you should have uh, you should have like left him with a lot of sharp objects to chew, or a lot of, or you should have left the bath running and let and go to do something, and then you come back. And your child is actually dead instead of shoving their head underwater and getting caught like an idiot. So that's what I feel like constructive manslaughter is. <laughs> that's what I think constructive manslaughter is. All right, so let's look at another manslaughter thing. Uh, vehicular or intoxicated manslaughter. That's pretty fucked up. Like you're driving a car and like you know like you hit someone and like you kill them. And they're like, you killed this person, but like, it's not as bad as first degree murder, but it's still pretty bad, yo. You know, homie, like, you know, you fucked up, so we're gonna charge you with in well, vehicular manslaughter, which is not as bad as actually killing someone, apparently. But whatever. James! Yes! Okay, we're back. We're back from a little break. <laughs> little break in the middle of my thought. I don't know what I was talking about, but we're gonna go to the degrees of murder. Murder in the second degree. It's in a, it's an album. That's interesting. Ka 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 ka. Okay, so we're gonna look at the exclusions for murder. You know, so self defense. That's uh, interesting. So like, like sounds like. Someone's like, ah, I'm like, I'm mad at you. I'm gonna kill you. And you're like, nah, if I kill you first, and like, you kill them like with a knife or a gun. Like, you know, like they break into your house. They're like, I'm gonna take your stuff. You know, you better watch out. And you're like, well, you better watch out because I got my Second Amendment rights. So I'm gonna tell you something. All right, I got a shotgun in the back of my pocket. You know, I got a big ass back pocket, and I have a shotgun there. I'm gonna blow your brains out right across the wall. I got the wall painted yesterday, bro. So you're going to be messing up my wall. Let me tell you, your blood stains, they're going to mess up my wall. But I'm not afraid to do it. And then you go, bam! And they're like, no! And their brains go all over the wall. And they, and like, like in their head, they were thinking, no! And then like after they get shot, they're thinking of... Or something like that. I don't know. Death is like... Death makes you very curious. What happens when you die? Especially like if you get murdered. 
like suicide you're probably like if you have thoughts after you get murdered it's like suicide you're like oh thank god i'm dead but if you're murdered you're like oh no i'm dead <laughs> I, can't, I can't believe this maybe like i don't know that's interesting so Dang, yeah. Dang, I just watched someone get kicked out of the gun range. I don't think I showed in the video, but it's fucked up. Okay, so. So, if you're in a country with capital punishment, you can't murder the government if they decide to kill you. So, you're technically excluded from that. So, let's just say, um... I kill someone, and the government puts me on trial. I mean, I talked about this earlier, but let's go more into depth. So I kill someone, I go on trial, and the judge is like, like, like you don't deserve to live anymore because you took this guy's life. And like, you're, you're fucking stupid, and you should die. So I'm like, no. Oh. And then like, like 20 years later, because the system's like really fucking stupid, um, I, they put me on like death row and uh, I get murdered the government decides to murder me uh, I can't the, I can't sentence the government to death because the government is a non-human as stated earlier in the article so if they're non-human you can't really murder them or like yeah like you can't murder them so I guess technically killing the government would be legal because they're not human and it, maybe it's like a lesser charge like you kill the government and <laughs> and you get charged with something like animal cruelty because and i'm a political activist so i believe that the government they're <laughs> they're animals they're, they're rabid animals, and they might deserve to die. So you might get like, charged with like animal abuse or something like that. Um, let's see. Horror movies talk about murder a lot. You know, they're like pretty ph philosophical. You know, like they they go into like the fear aspect of getting murdered. Like you know, like like you're scared. Like you're like ah. Oh. I don't want to die. I've, I'm 25 years old. I, I only just racked up my student debt, and I'm only, I'm only, I'm only uh, half depressed. I'm not too depressed yet, you know. Like I'm not depressed enough to kill myself, but I am depressed. But like I'm not depressed enough to die. So please don't kill me. So that's like an interesting thing to think about. That horror movies are like. These philosophical movies, they're, they're, they, they dive into the fear, the fear aspect of being human and what it's like to fear death. But do you fear death after you die? That's another philosophical concept we should dive into because murder is getting kind of stale. So let's look up death on Wikipedia. So death is when all is death is the cessation of all biological functions that sustain a living organism. Organism. I don't know what that means. What does that mean? Is there a simple, simpler explanation for that? Oh, let's okay. There's diagnosis. So let's see the diagnosis. Um, diagnosis is. <coughs> Respiratory arrest, cardiac arrest, no pulse. A oh, respiratory arrest is no breathing. So brain death, no neuronal, no, no re near neuronal, no neuronal activity. Sounds like Ronald McDonald's. Some Latin words. Uh. Rigo mortis. Uh, the limbs of the corpse become stiff. So that's what. So that's how you know if someone's dead if they just like stop moving. 
So there's sometimes like where you could like, oh, so you could like legally die. Like not all death is illegal. So murder is an example of a legal death. Suicide is an example of a legal death. But like, let's just say like you're really old and like you're just like, your heart's just like, I'm sick of living. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. I've been pumping your blood for 80 years and I'm sick of you living. And like, it's like, it's like, I'm gonna give up right now. I'm giving up. I can't do the race anymore. You know, I've done, been doing this race for 80 years. You know, I've given up a couple of times. These stupid doctors, they keep on reviving me. And like, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. And like, so like, he just like, it just gives up. And it like, commits its own suicide if you think about it. If you think about it real hard. Um, yeah. I think that's all I have to talk about for today, I think, right? Let me think. If you have any more recommendations for what my should film, you know, what articles I could, should talk about, let me know, you know? I can't wait to hear your suggestions. Yeah. Alright. I have to go get my laundry now, you know? Yeah. Alright. So, let's see. It's 1041. Alright guys, peace out.